Mama Rasko. I'm doing my best here. This message you keep sending me, don't give up. I know that you've had to pound things into my head to get me to not forget, but what the hell do you mean? Don't give what up? I don't know, Stace. The bills, they keep piling up. We need to get that do re -mi. At least they took off your ventilator. I mean, that's got to save us a couple bucks, right? Oh, who am I kidding? It's time for those two ditzy broads back in Lambview to ante up. Echo, what are you doing? Look alive. We got to go to Rex, and we got to make sure that he gives back everything that he took from Clint. Relax. How am Roxy. I supposed to relax? Maybe you don't care about our boy, but I do. And that pole jockey, if she gives the gun to the police, they're going to arrest Rex for killing Victor Lord. So get your head out of this paper and help me come up with a plan. Look. Hey, there's Kim now. <laughs> so what are we going to tell her? Nothing. Ignoring my call. Nice. You're going to regret that, Echo. Ken's got Rexy's gun. The gun that killed Victor Lord? It doesn't matter what she has. The cops have their man, and it's not Rex. Admit it. You didn't hear Dad with Victor. You got all of your information from listening to Sean and me, and you used it to get Dad arrested and shot. So what if I did? It's not like you can prove it. I don't have to. You just confessed. We got the antibiotics. Oh, am I interrupting something? I did not confess. You said, so what if I did? So what if I did? What does that even mean? It means that you didn't see Dad, and you didn't hear him shoot Uncle Victor. Oh, he did it. Scarface killed Dad. So would you stop calling him that? He's our father, and he's bleeding to death somewhere because of you. How is that my fault? Because you're the one that put him in jail. Because of your lie. And if he hadn't been in jail, I wouldn't have had to break him out, and none of this would have happened. Go upstairs right now and tell the cops that Dad is innocent. I... I... I was just trying to, to keep him talking, Taya. You know, he's, he's completely out of his mind with fever, and I'm afraid if he, you know, if he falls asleep, he's not gonna wake up, so... We were talking about old times, and so I, I'm gonna get him some water. Did you bring those antibiotics? One more and we're four for bridge. See, completely out of his mind. You look like hell. I left my hair gel in my jail cell. Shut up. You're gonna need your energy if we're gonna figure a way out of this mess you've got us all in. Me? Yeah, you. Here. Here's your water. Do you have the, the pills? Yes. Great. Back, oh, oh, open oh. up. Come on, see? Like a real human oh. being. Drink the water. Well, I wouldn't go that far. You see how you look after your shot. Okay. You so, didn't look so good when she pushed Todd, out come on. Well, neither did she. Okay. What's going on downtown with, 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 with Star and Tomas? I saw Star briefly. Okay. She was fine, except for the fact that she's worried sick about her father. Mm -hmm. I just came from Tomas's arraignment. What did he get on bail? No, he did not. Well, why not? Well, they don't generally let people out on bail who plead guilty to murder. Plead guilty? Why in the world would he do that? I'm not telling the cops anything. 
Because there's nothing to tell. Where are you going? To my dad's office. To write that follow-up about my sister, the criminal. You're not gonna get away with this. You are not gonna put dad in prison for a crime that he did not commit. If you don't tell the cops, then I will. <laughs> Good luck with that. I need to speak with the commissioner Shut right away. Up. Why? You afraid of what I'm gonna say? Are you causing trouble again, you little bitch? Hey, do not speak to her like that. It's her own. His own kid ratted him out. And then he escaped at gunpoint, felony number two. Then he goes and kills his own mother. This guy's a three-time loser. The cops aren't going to be looking at Rex for this. Not when they have Todd Manning in their sights. Oh, really? It yeah. shows how much you know. Because, honey, I got an inside track. And guess what? We got a lot to worry about. I hate to leave you, Stace, but I've had it with those two broads. They're stalling, and I'm not putting up with it anymore. They either find a way to give Clint back his fortune, or they can forget about saving Rex. I know that I'm missing something. I just don't know what. If I could talk to you, if I could hear your voice. Hello? Give a guy a heart attack. <laughs> Sorry, I'm late. For what? My book club. You have a book club that meets in the cemetery? I see dead people, remember? Dead people like to read. Got a lot of time on their hands, so we meet once a week. Although, I cannot say I am thrilled with the list. Death in Venice? Really? Last week, it was death on the Nile. Before that, it was death of the salesman before that. Right, uh, yeah, I, I get the idea. Mm. Huh, having a little chat? Trying to. Rex, you look depressed. Can I help? Can you ask her about this? 